The Indian Navy's plan to bolster its underwater capabilities with three enhanced Scorpene-class submarines remains in limbo, as government clearance for the contract is still pending. Despite successful cost negotiations bringing the 50,000 crore rupees bid down to 36,000 crore rupees in the last fiscal year that ended on March 31st, but formal approval is yet to be granted. The Navy had hoped to finalize the agreement with Mazagon Dockyard Limited before March 31st, 2025, but as of July, both MDL and naval officials face growing uncertainty. The proposal, initiated on August 11, 2023, is a repeat order under Project 75 and falls within the Buy Indian category of the Defense Acquisition Procedure 2020, which mandates a 60% indigenous content. With increasing submarine activity from regional rivals such as Pakistan and China, the delay has raised strategic concerns. Both these countries are actively working to expand their submarine fleets. The additional submarines are seen as a critical measure to address capability gaps pending the long-delayed Project 75I. India has also begun retiring its older Kilo-class submarines, which were acquired from Russia. MDL, which completed construction of six earlier Scorpion submarines, now faces an inactive production line and an idle workforce. Naval officials warn that even if the contract is signed today, the first vessel would only be ready by 2031. Continued construction is essential to maintain a robust supply chain, which is currently strained and impacting fleet maintenance. A major shift in the new order involves a push for greater indigenous production, up from an estimated 20 to 30 percent in earlier submarines. The new 60 percent requirement is expected to boost domestic manufacturing and draw French partner Naval Group deeper into India's industrial ecosystem. Key upgrades in the new Scorpion submarines include R1 extended endurance with enhanced accommodations and storage for doubled mission duration, two, enhanced firepower with over twice the weapon payload and upgrade potential, three, modern propulsion with energy-efficient electric motors for easier upkeep, four, improved logistics with diesel generators from new suppliers offering better support and possible outsourcing with MDL, collaborating with private sector giant L&T. Until clearance is secured, both the Scorpion extension and Project 75, I remain stalled, risking not just operational preparedness, but also the technical momentum built by India's shipbuilding workforce.